you have a computer for an RV, an actual computer for an RV. RVs don't have technical tools. They don't have computers you can hook up, like you can hook into a car. This is for an RV. This came from, uh, let's see here, it's like Christmas time. It actually is Christmas Eve. Skill above RV testers, rvtesters.com. Let's check it out, guys. Whoa, look at that. It's an RV tester. You hook a DeWalt battery into this, or Ryobi, or whatever you, whatever you want, they'll hook you up. You get M1 and M2 for switches right here. I'm sure if you can see this. Right, tells you the voltage, the amps, the watts. You can turn here for jacks. This can be hooked up, look at the wiring that comes with this. You have a regular port, a port here. Have another port here, a port here. Comes with a fuse. Check this out, it's all aluminum housing too. Check this out. This is what you can do with this thing. Look at the cables it comes with. I think you gotta order the cables separate, I'm not sure. I just ordered the whole thing. But this right here, this cable is a real important one right here. This is a real important one. It has a little gauge on it. You guys can see that. This is for equalizer uh, six point uh, systems. So you can control the jacks on an equalizer system. So you can manually override. So say if you're in an RV park and you're stuck, well, the technician comes to you and overrides your jack. So if your computer's gone, he doesn't have a computer, you know, that exact computer, he can plug this in, bypass the computer, go like this to a certain switch. I think it's M2 you hit, and you can go like that and move your jacks. So he, you, can, you can move jacks with this. You can control, um, you have cables for like regular jumper cables here you can use. So you can jump an awning, like say if you have an awning motor and your awning won't go out, it's stuck in. Well, you can go and pull the wires to the motor, connect this end to that to the DeWalt battery and pull the awning out. So if the motor's still good, it could be the switch. It could be you're not getting 12 volts to the system up there. It could be anything, but we're gonna test the motor. So we hook up this, all the different connection it com comes with and we go like that. And I've already tried it before, it's awesome. I gotta show you a live video one day. I did one on Facebook. Hit that, the awning goes out. If the motor's still good. Now, if you have a class A or class C RV and your jacks, your steps, your, your remote steps don't come down, well, we don't know if it's your computer board. We don't know if it's a fuse. We don't know if it's a motor. We don't know. So you plug this into the motor, hit the button, the steps come down and we know the motor's good. Uh, Swintech system. So the slides, some of them have those aluminum bars on each side called Swintech. You can control that, plug one in each side, plug it into the computer board and override the computer board so I can manually force that slide out. So you're stuck in an RV park, you're not stuck now. So we can come and quickly get you out of here and this is great for troubleshooting. I like it, I like it for emergencies to quickly get someone out of there because that's what I use it the most for because what if we don't have that motor on board? Um, those motors are like 300 bucks a piece. What if we ha what if we don't have those? We have this and get you out of the jam. But it's so cool because you can run on a DeWalt battery, Ryobi, Makita. He has all the attachments. You just call him up. You tell him the rvtesters.com. You go to the rvtesters.com and uh caddy wample it's the caddy wample a little bit strange name it's kind of cool but strange but i love it this is pretty cool i've already tried it a couple times i'm gonna do some videos on this and so you guys can see exactly what's going on and, and how we use this and um then you'll see exactly what we do um but this is a must-have tool they have the ac the guy still guy makes an ac tester too that can test heat pumps it's a great thing we have that too we have that so i'm gonna do a review just i did a review on that already i think yes i did a review on that but this is, uh, we're gonna go out in the field and do a review. I'm just giving you a quick example. What's nice is you can do an LCI lipper component jacks if you have a fifth wheel and you can't get the jacks down, something's wrong with the computer or anything, wiring. You plug this in and then you can put it to um, channel one, two, three, or four and that would be your different jacks. So you put it to this one, your, maybe your side jack, hit the button down or up and it'll go up or down. Isn't that cool? You can do equalizer system jacks too, because the equalizer system makes jacks. You can plug this in and override that. So this is like a must have if you're gonna do RV work because it's a time saver. You don't have to charge a customer as much money. And in turn, you make more money because you're gonna be on a second service call really quick or a third service call really quick with the other guys spending all day trying to troubleshoot this. You already get it covered. You got them out of the park because you have this tool. But go to their website, check their prices out, rvtesters.com. This is not something you can just go to the, Lowe's and buy. This is proprietary for it to fix RVs. And some guys are really, really technical that own RVs. And even if you're not a technician, this is kind of a cool tool because this can bail you out of a park. I mean, just two slide motors cost the same as this, right? Swintech slide motor. So if you have this and a DeWalt battery or Ryobi, whatever you want them to tell you, you tell them what kind of battery to put on there 
housing and he'll put it on there for you custom so you know even if you even if you're not an rv repair, te repair technician it's kind of nice to have this because you control basically your whole rv and you can troubleshoot without the tech you know without the technician coming there charging you to put this on because i'm going to charge you to put this computer on but yeah we're, we have to we have to charge a service call of 150 and then we charge you for time and you know troubleshooting so just like a car, when you bring a car or truck to a mechanic, they're going to do the same thing and put your computer on it and they're going to charge you for the computer trouble uh, diagnostic troubleshooting. So check it out. Go to rvtesters.com and we're going to show you some really cool tools. We have some really unique stuff. Um, this same guy that puts this out is going to, I think he has something that you can put an awning on yourself in 15 minutes. It's crazy, but you got to check it out, check all this stuff out. And we'll be doing a couple reviews on this because we really like the way he works and his products and i mean just the ac uh the ac tester he has it's like you can hit a button and go you can start the heat pumps and air conditioners you as a fuse it's you can throw it around it's like rubber coated and everything it's pretty cool so this is the stuff that i don't know why this wasn't out invented like 20 years ago but it's invented now the guy's a genius check him out we're going to be buying more stuff off him we're going to have to actually get another one of these for the other truck I'm going to have one for each technician because it's it, it's a lifesaver to me because I'm sick of beating my head against the wall figuring out what the problem is. I can just hit this on, done. Now you could, like say if an awning's coming out, if an awning come, if an awning motor to test it, you know, I used to get up there with my battery backup or a 12 volt DeWalt battery, you know, try to push the prongs in, everything's falling all over the place. It's a pain in the butt. You got like a 15, 20 foot cable, you put it on, it rolls right out. It's so simple. Especially if you're a new technician, if you're new to RV repair, this is good because this actually teaches you. It's like a tool. It teaches you. Shows you what's going on. Okay, it's the motor. You can troubleshoot it without ordering a, a, a $500 board or a $500 control panel, or $600, $700. They go up to thousands of dollars. You just put this on there. So you're not ordering the wrong part. You know, you don't look like you don't... If you go in front of the customer, you order the wrong part, you get there and, and it's 700 bucks, and you're like, oops, wrong part. The board's good or the screen's good. That kind of sucks. Because now you're six hundred, five hundred dollars in the hole. You got to return this product, or keep it, you know, in stock, and that's you know, it gets expensive too. Have a good one. More videos like this are coming along. You guys stay warm. Our pipes froze last night, of course, because you know it's like five degrees out, six degrees, but that's okay. We're in North Carolina. We're the camper pros in uh, North Carolina. We're right next to Forest City. It's in between Charlotte and Asheville. Give us a call if you need your uh, RV work done. We we are very professional. Very, very, very well-trained technicians, and we'll uh, figure out what you, what you need done and um, take care of you. We have like five wholesalers, too, so we can get parts pretty quick. See ya.